Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here, doing individual zodiac sign reading. This one's for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, check your north node. And I'm speaking on this resonating in your heart thing. Um, and when it, it applies to general tarot card readings on YouTube. So, like, if there's something that draws you into a reading because of the title, there's something in the message for you. And then you get to go into the message and kind of, you know, play around with what the information is. Is it for you? Is it not for you? And using that internal guide, your intuition to kind of what's for you, what's not for you. And being completely indifferent to the information, if it triggers in you, your soul's trying to pull something up for healing. All internal work. If the message resonates with you and you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, and, and that gives you that expansive kind of, I agree with you. It's that connected connectivity to the, the universal flow of information that's being available to you. It's a way that a muscle we have not maybe used as much in this society. Um, we are all, you know, being born up in a society like I have, like we are, you know, we are always second guessing that intuitive knowing. And so now your intuition is navigating through general tarot card readings as this little beginning stages of trying to just, you know, use itself. It's trying to flex and, 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 and become stronger so that something as simple as navigating information and triggers through general readings on YouTube becomes, ah, I know. I know what's for me, what's not for me at a level that you can take that and apply that in external situations and circumstances. So without further ado, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what messages do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Aquarius? Whoa. Let's try that one more time. Take two. Spirit, what messages do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Aquarius? Spirit, what messages do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Spirit, what messages are for Aquarius? All right, that feels good. First two cards are Current Energy, Three of Swords, Hanged Man. Heart Space, Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Possible outcome. Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords. And underlying energy, which you might not be aware of. Eight of Rods. Along with the Moon and the Hermit. So I'm speaking to an Aquarius here who is... A little fearful of what their feelings are telling them or, or doesn't or maybe is questioning what their feelings are telling them and this is a time when you know you're getting you're getting information from outside sources but you're questioning it you're a little scared of it you're not you're second guessing that intuitive knowing and the going within, the hermit card, you know, that moon card, you know, that moon is kind of encapsulated right there in that lantern, you know. There's some unknown inner reflection that can reveal a lot to you. And then again, some things are just kind of left up to the unknown. Going with the universal flow, knowing that whatever the situation, circumstance, and ending of, you know, whatever... Whatever thing that you're unsure about, whatever the outcome is, the understanding that spirit's got you, always has had you. It's just your feelings that have kind of let you feel a, a tossed about. Your current energy is, you know, this reflection, this 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 other way of looking at past heartbreaks and loss and, and pain and disappointments. So you're you're looking at the past or it could be current, you know, 
well, is current energy, but you're looking at heartbreak, loss, and disappointment differently now. And I think because you're coming at it from a more awake position, that might be why you're like, Dad, nab it. I'm not looking at it like I used to. I'm looking at it from a different angle, but now I don't know. Now I'm unsure <laughs> because I used to be able to just do it the way I've always done it. Now that got me the results I always got, so I'm wanting different results this time. Dag nabbit. <laughs> and in the heart space, again, there's a reflection over, I want to say maybe an over-reflection into the past what hap was it what has happened and, and what what those cycles brought to you and it's causing you to feel a little restricted like your thought processes are just kind of blocked but again it's the same thoughts that can unbind you your possible outcome is you want <laughs> there's aquarius right there but it's kind of like do you want to bail you're just like, I'm, I'm just going to chop, just, I'm just going to run away. But again, there's that block, that two of swords that gets left behind when we kind of have this. So it's, I say the best offer is to go within, meditate on it, ride the energetic flow of the universe, Aquarius. That's my advice. Because I can completely identify with this energy. Like, you're giving yourself too many, too many options. That was the next card. It's like having all these options is keeping you locked in this eight of swords where you're like man i keep thinking about the past and not wanting to repeat it you know looking at my heartache completely different you know coming at it from a different angle is causing a block for you and that's there's an unknown fear and you know the the messages and signals and signs that you're getting outside of you are new so you're like oh man these I'm, this is new territory. <laughs> Should I just bail? <laughs> and this is this energy is aligning in what makes sorry lining in what makes an Aquarius what makes you you what puts you in that knowing cutting out that bullshit looking at things clearly what puts you in this energy because that's the same energy that can cut this out too where you don't have to bail. You don't have to feel like you're running away from things. You can take things on squarely. So going within is your best ally here. And, and going over the past, mulling over the past, is something that you might want to reconsider. Because that seems to be a huge where a huge block is. Going over the past and over the past and over the past. I don't want to repeat this. I don't want to repeat this. Well, guess what? Simply focusing so hard on the past will repeat it. I'm going to pull an advice, an, advice, an, advice, an advice card from the uh, Chapel of the Sacred Mirror deck by Alex Gray. Spirit, what advice do we have for Aquarius? Spirit, what advice do we have for Aquarius? And material world. Very cool. We've got like the energy space matter and time grid with the empty you know the the uh negative space the void there's always something in the void the void is full materia prima beginning of the great work identity fused with lead in the alchemical flask of the body atoms form molecules molecules form cells cells form organs organs form bodies our incarnation is miraculous and depends on billions of years of evolutionary biochemical problem solving. Use the great, the great good fortune of your birth to enter life as a path and realize your true nature. Energy, matter, space, and time, building blocks of empirical reality, deep-rooted fabric of the elements, blanketing our physical stratum of being, mother womb and tomb of temporality. Thou art a shadow theater cast by the spiritual sun. The reflection of foundation. So, Aquarius, again, what was I saying? What makes Aquarius, Aquarius? What makes you, you? What puts you in the universal flow is letting go. Letting go with that 
God's the spirit source universe whatever name you want to give your higher power has you always has had you the feelings that you're applying to this are again just feelings so I, I, I strongly suggest again going back to what is what makes you you and recognizing that the over analyzing the overthinking is going to pull the joy out of whatever the situation is so just ride that universal universal wave <laughs> ride the universal flow <laughs> all right i hope this has helped aquarius catch you next time